everyone and welcome to another making off video. Today we're looking at Markiplier's odd medical condition animation or the world's quietest let's play. I've done these making off videos before but usually I just have the video running and some music in the background but for this video I decided that I would talk a little bit and give you a little insight of what's actually going on in the video. So for this particular animation I decided to go with the style that I used for the last animation which was the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 part 2. I, I felt it was easier for me to draw the face because I was I, I got a lot of practice from the last animation and I also gave myself a lot of freedom to try different angles, different styles like the one you're seeing right now where it's just a simpler style and here is the different angles I tried and this particular scene where he's swinging was was a bit challenging because I had to deal with foreshortening which is things that get closer get bigger and things that get farther away get smaller so it required me a lot of trial and error to, to actually get it right but challenges like this made the animation really interesting and made me really really focused and I feel like I, I learn more if I challenge myself to try different things instead of just doing the same so I should maybe explain you what's going on right now. I'm doing what's called the animatic, which, well, I think it's the animatic. I do the animatic my own way. Pretty much what the animatic is for me is like a sketch of the animation. When you do a drawing, you do a sketch first, then you outline all the details. And this is pretty much what I do. I do the sketch or the animatic, whatever you want to call it. I lay down all the key poses and some detail to what I'm actually going to outline later. And only then do I do the line work. For me, the animatic is the creative process. This is where I put all my imagination because this is the foundation of the whole animation so for me to have a basis for the animation I need to put all of my imagination in this area so the animatic in my opinion is where all the creative process comes in then the line work the line work in my opinion it's the most time-consuming part in the animation the animatic can take some time because you want the foundation to be right you want the poses to be correct and the faces to look good but when the magic comes in it is when you do the line work and the in-betweens the in-betweens is the things I'm doing right now so I, I draw the main poses that I drew before I do the line work of the main poses then I go back and do the in-between of those two particular poses and the in-betweens it's what's actually going to give the illusion that the drawing is moving I particularly don't do a lot of in-betweens I think I do what's enough to give that illusion but that that's just my style that's that's how I do things I think three poses in between the two main poses is enough to give that illusion of movement some animators use more some animators use less it really depends sometimes I can use less or more depending if you want the movement to be slower you use more frames if you want the movement to be faster you use less frames if you want it to look very Disney style you will use a million frames but that's not really the point I drew a little skull did you see that like I said I personally use three most of the times the first one is I, I do just a little movement from the main pose it's almost like the same image but slightly moving to the direction that I want the second one I do the actual in-between, I, I, I see where the middle, where you can see right now, I, I'm doing the in-between, I'm trying, I was trying to figure out where the middle part between one pose and the other were. In that particular case it was just the face, I was trying to figure out <laughs> oh, the balls, I was just trying to figure out where the face would be between those two poses. And then the third frame, it's like the first one, but I do the reverse. In this particular scene the head is moving down, so in the first pose I put the head a, a bit lower than the original one, the second one in between the two frames and the third one a little bit higher so it gives that feeling of movement and it makes it look very very smooth the transition it doesn't feel stiff it feels very smooth the way the head moves that face though and in some particular scenes like the one with this head I give myself a lot of freedom to do different things since there is no animation in that particular scene I just went insane and did all kinds of weird things and you can see that throughout the whole animation but in contrast I did, I did things like this one with the swing where it has way more animation instead of just one picture so I think it balanced out the, the animation pretty well this is another case this is pretty much a still picture the lips move and actually doing the lip sync for this particular scene wasn't really easy but we'll get to that in this particular scene with the sword throwing I really really wanted to grasp the feel of Happy Wheels. I wanted anyone to look at this and say, yeah, this is Happy Wheels. Well, at least anyone that knows Happy Wheels. It wasn't particularly easy because I, I, I messed around a lot because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with that particular scene. But in the end, I decided that, that doing that, that very Happy Wheel-ish pose, uh, I think it was the best way to go and I think it worked pretty well. So right now I'm still doing the line work. As you can see, it's a very long, long process because you have to do all the in-betweens and try to do all the detail as much as you can in this particular animation I really wanted to do the eyes very expressive 
the, the eyes were, were always like semi closed because he was talking very low so making him with very big open eyes felt a little bit off so so, so I tried to grasp that that the feeling with the eyes and I think making the eyes semi closed was the best way to achieve that result now you see me drawing a lot and you can see on the upper left corner you see things called layers and there's a bunch of them ahead you can see the frames and I'm just drawing inside of those frames so this is the way I organize things in this animation first the body then the head then the hair, then the eyes and the eyebrows, and then the mouth. The mouth is the last thing I do as far as line work goes, so right now I'm doing everything except the mouth. And this is how I organize the layers. So if the head is in one layer and you draw the hair on the layer above it, the hair will stay on top of the head. If you draw the eyes on the layer above that, the eyes will stay on top of the face and the hair. That's why sometimes you see the eyebrows on top of the hair. I hope that didn't sound very confusing. And now we have the mouth. The little pink one you see on the right, it's pretty much a guideline because these teeth take a long time to make. And I really didn't want to screw it up because otherwise I'd have to do everything all over again. But that was only for that particular scene. Usually I just draw the mouth in specific points while he talks. It's a bit hard to explain, but pretty much what I would do is I would pinpoint these specific places. I would put the shape I think it would fit better and then I, it's the same I just do the in-betweens in this case I do again on the right you see a guideline because of the teeth and then do the in-betweens and try to make it look as smooth as possible anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video and want me to do more of these in the future just let me know in the comments feedback is always appreciated if you guys have any tips or suggestions please let me know maybe something that I didn't show in this video or that I didn't make it really clear anything at all just let me know I'll do my best for the next video anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you you guys enjoyed it. Take care. But what better game to play than Happy Wheels? And now I will move on to a sword throw. That is, please. <laughs>